All right, I want to introduce a new segment. <laughs> Ryan doesn't even know what's happening here. No idea. We have been talking about our food uh, privately, but we haven't been talking about it publicly. And so, uh, since we're picnicking here, picnic on the van here at Shabona, uh -huh. I thought we might talk about how we, we do our meals. Oh, man. So today's sandwich is homemade bread. Dad makes the best homemade bread. I've been making homemade bread for well over 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Certainly before the, the pandemic virus and everybody was all of a sudden newbie bread makers and I couldn't get any bread flour in the stores. Yeah, that was fun. But uh, yeah, I've been making bread for over 10 years because I got tired of corn syrup in the bread that I bought you when you were a kid. I'm like, why, why am I giving my kid corn syrup in his bread? That was just kind of ridiculous to me, so. If it's caught with corn syrup, it's not, not a good situation. No. So, uh, so we got homemade bread, which is four ingredients. Well, it's actually, I make it with five, but uh, you know, it's, it's flour, salt, water, and yeast. Okay. Um, and then I add a little uh, cinnamon for a little bit more sweet uh, flavor on the sweet side. Uh, of course, you can't taste the sweetness. It just, you know, adds a little background. And then you brought back from the store a new find in sunflower butter. Yeah, I've, uh, I, I guess I've just been exploring the different nut butters that are available out there. Uh, he said nut butter. Nut butter. <laughs> so, like, I, I found sunflower butter at the grocery store that I work at for a pretty decent price. It was like $6 for a tub. Almond butter, I saw a couple jars at my grocery store for like 11 and even as high as like $24. But So I was like, okay, well, let's try sunflower butter. So I got sunflower butter and... Yeah, a little history on that. Of course, we've been doing, uh, trying to find good peanut butter. So good peanut butter to me is, is peanut butter that has peanuts. <laughs> maybe a little salt added, maybe oil, but really just peanuts. And um, what you don't know is uh, way before you were born, I actually uh, priced out and wanted to buy a peanut grinder so I could make my own oh, peanuts at home. That would be awesome. Yeah, you can do that. Um, and it's really hard to find peanut butter in the store that is good. Uh, there are a lot of natural or peanut butters that have natural on the label, but they still have sugar added and they still have other things added to them and it's I just don't understand why we can't just have peanuts and that's about it right um, when right. you buy fresh ground peanut butter which some stores do carry uh, far and few in between it's it's awesome but this sunflower butter pops this is popping this is great stuff so we got sunflower oil on, or sunflower butter on here and then... Well, so let me just say, yeah, the sunflower butter is one of the most sensational foods that I've had in a while. I would agree with that. And then we've been experimenting with different jellies and uh, of course that is the, sh you know, that's the sugar side. Um, I like honey. We've uh, done agave. Ryan, I like agave. Ryan can't do honey, so agave is okay on the list. Um, I can't do honey because I'm vegan, by the way. Right. Um, some of the jellies are, you know, they're just jelly and added sugar, so we try to do our best there, do some preserves. But uh, Ryan, as he went through his butter exploration, went through a jelly exploration. I didn't want to just, eat, you know, feed myself spoonfuls of butter to try out the new butters that I was finding. So, uh, so, you know, I had to start experimenting with the bread I was getting and experimenting with the jelly I was getting. And uh, I was trying out some different brands going away from typical Smuckers or Bon Maman and trying any uh, brand that was, well, different from that. So I found this ginger preserve jelly and I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head, I think the brand was called McKee's. I think uh, it's English. It's an English looking label. Okay. 
I'll, I'll definitely link it in the description of the video. But oh my gosh, this ginger jelly though, it's made in small batches and it is just as sensational and flavorful as the sunflower butter. So we're having a sandwiches here today I, and I make my, my homemade bread usually on the weekend. Um, so it's, you know, you want to utilize it pretty much right away. So I make the bread, um, usually the next day I carve off uh, the slices and I make the sandwiches. This is sunflower butter and the ginger preserve, which, I mean, it's, it's like nothing I've ever had before. <laughs> and it just, it, it makes me feel good. I'm excited every mm. time I eat it. I just feel like it's, it's the right place at the right time. It's just, it's exa exactly what I would want to extravagantly give myself on a hike mm. and it checks all the boxes that I want to have checked um, so I make the sandwiches typically on Sunday or, or Monday and I put them in the freezer and that's perfectly this is good solid bread it holds up to being frozen in a normal freezer of course I've got a tub freezer as well that I could use but I just put these because we eat them pretty quickly in the regular freezer and pull them out a day ahead and we're good to go man so these are still cold uh, they're thawed but they're still cold and solid so that's today's lunch so grateful for it man. Of course, you can't see the Pepsi that I have behind me so all of that <laughs> all of that talk is negated by the fact that I got a Pepsi behind me but oh well